in this section, we'll be discussing how to create a program to collect your data. A few assumptions is that your hardware and optics have already been set correctly, that your powder or material is already placed inside the instrument, and now you actually want to measure it. To create a program, what you're going to be doing is going to File, New Program in the top left. Panalytical breaks things out in Data Collector. New programs are always going to be File here. To measure a program, we go into Measure in the next, uh, in the next menu. So we'll say file, new program. The type of program we'll be running on the Alpha 1 is always going to be an absolute scan. You will notice there are a wide variety of measurements that X-ray diffraction is capable of doing, and some of our more advanced tools are capable of running those, but the Alpha 1 is only absolute scans. We'll go ahead and say, okay. Now in this menu, we notice a few things because you're already connected to our sample spinner. It's selected by default on top. Our scan axis is always going to be a gonio scan when we're doing bulk measurements. Now there are a few parameters we want to change here. We notice our total time right now by default is 54 minutes. And there are five parameters that control that total time. The first parameter is what is the start angle and what is the end angle of your particular measurement. In our case, we'll be starting at 10 degrees. If you're not sure what starting angle you should be using, we'll be discussing, discussing this in another section about how to use uh, the PDF database by ICDD, or we can discuss that using some other databases that are online as well. My end angle, in this case, will be 100 degrees. If I press tab or any other cell within this window, it will update the total time. Now I'm looking at an hour and 15 minutes. Now this time is based upon the assumption that I'm using a proportional detector, which is often used for calibration or for certain sensitive experiments. However, in this case, we are using an advanced detector called the accelerator which will allow me to collect my data much more quickly. However, my program here does not know that program, that detector is there by default. To choose the detector, I'm going to go to settings on the right-hand side, and I'll scroll down to the diffracted beam path, and under the diffracted beam path, I see detector actual. Here, I'll change actual to my accelerator detector number two. We'll automatically select scanning line detector, the active length, there's no need to change any of these parameters, and I will say okay. Now you notice now my total time has gone from an hour and 15 minutes to now a minute and 55 seconds. For me, that's a little too fast a collection time. I'm going to change two other parameters here as well. My step size is a little too fine. For most materials, a step size of 0 0.016 degrees is perfectly good and will give you the resolution you need for most materials. If it is an unknown material that I have never measured before, I will do a relatively quick scan to see what I'm looking at, to see whether my intensity is good enough to see whether my uh, step size is good enough. To do that, I'll make my time per step 10 seconds. And that will give me a, uh, an average total time of roughly seven and a half minutes. If my first scan is somewhere between four to eight minutes, usually that's a good first pass to see what is good enough. Unfortunately for X-ray diffraction, there's no magical program that will give you everything you need. You'll always create a first program and iterate based upon your material and your counts to get to where you need to go. To save my program, I'll say File, Save As in the very top menu. And I can call this program whatever I like, remembering that my program is just a generic name. When I run my program later, I can define my sample ID at that point. 